Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and I know my throat sounds bad. I've been fighting off this all week. <laughs> I probably should have grabbed myself something to drink to sip on while we're getting through this because it's going to be a long video so buckle up folks. Premier Yarns has released their Black Friday sales to some of the affiliates. <laughs> I have the list. Um, I am actually recording this before the sale goes live so that it is up during the actual sale. I'm actually going to be posting this a day after the sale because uh, time constraints, schedules, videos already loaded, etc, etc. <laughs> Having not enough time ahead of time to make this video, all those things. So what you cannot see behind you is my desk is packed with yarn because I went through my stash and I pulled out some of my favorites that are actually on sale for the Black Friday sale and before we get into that I am gonna go grab myself some water so that I can keep myself nice and hydrated I totally pulled out a pretty sweater I was gonna put it on but I'm too hot <laughs> all right so like I said Premier Yarns released their list to the affiliate so that we could get prepared to help them to get the word out for their sales right so as soon as I got the list, by the way, I'm very excited about this because Premier, this is new for Premier. They're they're experimenting and getting things out there and like really helping us out, which I am here for. I'm very grateful to Premier for giving me a heads up on the sale. Very grateful. Now, I have the list here. Um, I don't have, obviously, I don't have all of the yarns. Some of the yarns are yarns outside of what I normally use. I generally stick with your basic acrylic yarns um i will work with wool i will work with other fibers but my the main supply of my yarn is acrylics and so that's what i have to show you guys today they also have on sale um chenille yarns fuzzy yarns um uh, glittery yarns like there's all kinds of yarns that are on sale aside from what I'm showing to you so go ahead and click the link below if you're interested in looking at the list you can look at the list and listen to me talk at the same time um, the I will link the the sale page to you and then I'm gonna show you what I have in my collection okay so we're gonna go down they have a yarn that, now they have it's a five four three two one sale okay so they have yarns for five dollars four dollars three dollars two dollars one dollar etc um some of these are amazing deals some of them are okay deals i'm gonna let you kind of decide what is a, the best deal for you based on what yarn you love the most <laughs> that's why i grab the yarns that i love the most the ones that i actually have in stash the ones that i have a stockpile of and uh, we're going to go from there. Okay, so the first one I want to show you, this one surprised me that it was on the list because this is a brand new yarn and um, it's it's got a pricey tag. So we're starting with the $5 section. So these are the $5 yarns. I'm going to try to keep my phone open so that I don't have to keep refreshing it. This is the Sweet Roll Bold. And if I recall, and I could be wrong because I, I don't have two pages open at once. I don't have room to have my laptop open, but... I think this is like $8 a ball. I think that's what I paid for it. And it's on sale for $5. And this is like, back in the day when I first started buying yarns, when I first started crocheting, when I first started learning, I shopped at a store called AC Moore, which is no longer in business. And they would do the $5 cakes or the $3 cakes. And I was like, that was the best sale in the whole world. And I would stock up on the $5 cakes. But even during that time, and this was five, six years ago, even during that time, they would not have had this one for five dollars this one still would have been like eight dollars <laughs> on sale so i really like this yarn i like the colors of it this is a a chunk of a yarn it is bulky it is it is bold it is thick it's chunky it's soft i only have one cake of this but you better believe this can be part of my black friday sales i'm going to purchase some more of this because you guys know recently I've been working with the bulkier yarns and I will show you some of the stuff I've made with bulkier yarns. If you remember, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. If you remember I made the pocketed hooded the pocket hood scarf <laughs> hooded pocket scarf that we made not too long ago. It was made with a super bulky yarn. You could very well make it with this and it would be rainbow and it would be perfect. <laughs> okay, so 
Like I said, it's on sale for $5. Snatch these up. And you're going to be fighting me because I'm going to be buying some today. <laughs> sweet roll bold. I love the sweet rolls. The sweet rolls are my favorite cakes of all times of yarns. Then they come in a wide variety. This is the newest of the sweet rolls. They have, and I don't have a lot on my desk because not a lot of them are on sale, but they have like a neon color palette of the sweet rolls. They have, I mean, there's a huge variety of the sweet rolls. And I'm here for it. I love the sweet rolls. Sweet rolls are my favorite cake. And it's one of the only cakes I can consume because I am allergic to gluten. <laughs> Alright, so we got Sweet Roll Bold. 109 yards because it's so super chunky thick. Now because we have made... I don't have my wrap in here either. I should have grabbed that. I also made that really cool wrap where I, I, I made it with the rustic... And is the rustic? I think the rustic is on sale and I didn't grab it. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I swear. Yep. Rustic. <laughs> that ain't rustic. I need to grab some rustic. Hang on. Apparently I used my last ball of rustic. But I know for a fact that the rustic is very, very similar to the bell yarn from AC Moore. This is flashing back. The rustic is very similar. And the rustic is a similar thickness to the bold. And you totally mix these together, I'm just saying. I thought this was rustic because it's so similar in the yarn. So I don't have the rustic, but the rustic is also on sale for $5. And flashing back to five, six years ago, this is where inflation gets us, right? So five, six years ago, I paid $5 for this size ball for this beautiful yarn. The Rustic is basically the same yarn base. Um, it's soft, it's squishy, it's thick, it works up super fast. Five bucks. That's where you're going to get your last minute Christmas gifts done. Okay, You can whip up a crochet hat in like 30 minutes with some of these super bulky yarns. You can make things really fast, really easy. And especially if you live in a cold climate, this is what you're going to want to work with. Um, this would make a fantastic last minute blanket and it would only take you a couple of days because it's so bulky. And who doesn't love this color? By the way, this color is called summertime, but I would wear this in the winter time, the fall time, the springtime. <laughs> so I want to show that. This one's the one I'm most excited about because $5 for this price tag is fantastic. This one also is a really good deal. This one's also $5 right now. And this is the Butterfly. This is the anti-pilling acrylic. It's gorgeous. Now, what is unique about this yarn? First of all, anti if I say anti-pilling acrylic on here, it, before any of these yarns, it is the softest of the soft yarns. It is lush, soft, silky. You can literally make anything. You can make underwears out of it, and it would be fantastically comfortable. <laughs> okay? I made a baby blanket for my youngest niece out of this yarn. And, little thing, it's splitty. This yarn's splitty. The other anti-pilling acrylics in the Premier Wheelhouse are not splitty. This one is splitty. This one feels more along the lines of the yarn that came in the bobbins. If you remember that, it feels more similar to that. I found this to be extremely splitty. I tried knitting with it and had to finish the blanket and crochet because I just could not. <laughs> it's also super thin. So this is a a three weight but it's a thin three weight but what's beautiful and unique about this yarn is the way the colors are so what it does is it takes like a big chunk of the fabric and makes it one color and then there's a section that's the other colors so if you were to make a baby blanket it would work up like this although this I did make up a baby blanket and I used two balls and I went from the the solid color out and so the stripies are on the edge so what the baby blanket looks like is, I did the pink colorway, okay? Because she's a little girl and she, her, her mommy wanted pink. So the whole body of the blanket was double this, was pink, and then you have the stripes on the end. And depending on how wide the blanket is, depends on how thin these stripes get. So these stri stripes could just be on the edge. Like, it reminds me of like a pillowcase. You know how the, the end of pillowcases sometimes are different colors? Same idea with this, okay? And the colors it comes in are fantastic. This reminds me of Summer 2. This one is the color Tropical Fish. But this reminds me of sunshine and like the ocean or like a, a lagoon. <laughs> I 
as if I've ever been to a lagoon, but it's just so pretty. And it has the main solid color and then five micro colors. Isn't that pretty? Five bucks. So these are really good deals for that. I also think this retails for $7.99, $8. So you're getting a couple dollars off there. And this one, I actually really, I, I was so excited when this yarn came out. Let me double check my list. Yep. So this is the Dotty yarn. This is not anti-pilling acrylic, but it is not by any stretch of the imagination rough. It's soft. And again, this would make, when I say baby items or undergarments, I'm telling you it's soft. Okay. I have skin issues and I have to preface every video with that. I have skin issues. I have eczema. I have where my skin is constantly either cracking, peeling, bleeding, blistering. Something is constantly going on with my hands specifically. <laughs> okay. I'm very sensitive to yarn. So if I'm telling you the yarn is soft and the yarn is look nice, it is with an extra high standard because I'm so sensitive to so many things. Um, I really love the Dottie yarn. The Dottie yarn is cool. This has, I didn't even tell you how much yardage was in this. This is 546 yards. You can make a really good sized baby blanket out of just two balls of these. Um, you could probably make an average size person's shirt, like a, a t-shirt out of two balls of these. Uh, I even think you could probably make a plus size shirt if it's a tank top or something out of two balls of these. Uh, a sweater, I would use probably three balls, but um, actually I would probably use four because I would insist that the color be on the sleeves. <laughs> So I would need four balls for that, but yeah. The Dottie is 656 yards for $5, okay? You guys are, this is why I'm so excited about this sale. First of all, it's Premier Yarns. It's my favorite yarn company. Second of all, these deals are killer, okay? So this is the Dottie yarn, and again, I think this retails for about $8. I could be wrong. I haven't checked prices in a couple months because I've been just busy with everything, but... And I also went on that no yarn buying ban. <laughs> so this is Dottie. And yes, it's speckled yarn, which is another one of my favorites. But what makes this yarn unique is it's color shifting yarn. So not only is it speckled, but it's kind of like a self-striping speckle. And the fact that it changes color. Do you see that? It's speckled in stripes. Which makes this yarn incredibly unique which i'm here for and it comes in beautiful color. i have two colorways that i pulled out because these were these are actually have been on display up here since i purchased them because they're one of my favorites they're the display yarns <laughs> and the pinky colored one is pansies and the blues and purples is lagoon and again the lagoon we have this is less obvious about the color shifting but like it's still really cool really really beautiful yarn really soft fantastic deal for five bucks and like i said there's other yarns that are also on sale that i just don't have in stash because i don't use them not that there's anything wrong with them it's just and i've done videos on some of the other yarns that are on sale i'm gonna put them in that box over there because we're progressing across the desk we got a lot of yarn here <laughs> and yes i'm still drinking out of my halloween cup i don't care <clears throat> room so don't spill nothing so the other yarns that are on sale for five dollars is the bunny which is a furry yarn um retro velvet which is a velvet style yarn and i believe we used the retro velvet for a uh, bolster pillow tutorial a couple years ago um and then the snow cone light which is a blanket style fuzzy type yarns so it's like it's 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 a blanket style yarn it's fuzzy um, now we're moving on to the $4 section. So those were the $5 yarns. So for the $4 section, they have the Everyday DK and the Everyday Worsted, which is their anti-pilling line. This has been around forever and ever. It's a really good yarn. It is my go-to yarn for acrylics. This is the yarn I think of first where I'm like, I, okay, I want to make something out of acrylic. Whether it be clothing, whether it be household stuff, whether it be blankets or pillows or whatever. 
I use the anti-pilling line first. As a matter of fact, I'm working with anti-pilling yarn to make the dog's blankets, which I know is going to sound ridiculous to some of you, because why would you waste the good yarn on a dog? Here's why. <laughs> Here's why. The anti-pilling acrylic is machine washable and dryable. It does not... It washes beautifully, okay? And I was going to say it doesn't hold odor, and it doesn't hold odor after you wash it. Like, obviously, it's a dog blanket. It's going to uh, cure odor. When you wash and dry it, it comes out looking like it did before, before you let the dog have it. It doesn't get those little fuzz balls. It's really good for wear and tear. Um, obviously, it's going to snag on the dog's claws, but it, it really holds up. And Premier's claim to this yarn is that you can wash it 300 plus times and it's going to come out looking new wash after wash. That is their actual tagline. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see. Like new, wash after wash. They, they, their claim is 300 washes. I've never washed anything I own 300 times, so I can't tell you, but I can tell you that when I make something out of this, this yarn, it's because I know it's going to have wear and tear, and I know that it needs to be washed frequently. So little kid things, dog items, this would be fantastic for donations because it can be thrown in hot water if it needs to. I mean, I wouldn't recommend that. I don't wash anything in hot water. I don't wash anything in hot water. But, I mean, if it if it gets particularly dirty, you can wash it. <laughs> okay? So, both their worsted and their DK is on sale for $4 a ball. <clears throat> this is not an incredible deal. It's like a dollar off. It's not like the best. Like, if this was $2, we'd be screaming from the rooftops. But it's still a good enough deal to stock up if you want to make something for your loved ones. For a new baby that's coming in. For the dogs. For, like, the shelters. Whatever. It comes in lots of amazing colors. I mean, lots of amazing colors. Um, see, this is why I need my laptop open. Let me just switch windows. Every day. Every day worsted comes in 66 colors if for the worsted weight all right let's try oops everyday DK comes in 74 colors okay both yarns come in neons. Ask me how I know. <laughs> it comes in beautiful shades of, of neons. Um, some of these, some of these in this bag are DK. Some of them are worsted. So we have worsted. This one's DK. 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 Worsted. 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 And then black. <laughs> I think that one's worsted too. I have no idea what I was making with this or why these are all piled in this project bag because I have forgotten by now. But um, there you have it. Really, really like this yarn. Um, <clears throat> they also have the Canyon colors, which I could not find, but I made a hat in the Canyon colors. This is a bulky yarn. This is kind of a version of the serenity chunky the reason i know that is because this is serenity chunky this is a new colorway of the, the serenity chunky but it's called canyon colors and it's a beautiful soft squishy yarn and it works up fast because it's a bulky it's not as bulky as the first yarns that i showed you because those are super bulky this is just bulky it's a, a number five and those are a number six i believe leaning towards a number seven but this yarn is nice it's soft it's squishy it works up fast and four dollars is a good price because I I know that I paid more than that for this yarn. I think it's retail four ninety nine. I think I was in a rush to get it, so I paid eight dollars a ball. <laughs> but isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. And it comes in lots of colors. This is another one of the new yarns that I'm surprised they put onto to clearance. So four dollars for that. And then they also have so wooly. So wooly is it reminds me of the poppy and we just showed you the poppy yarn is the poppy on sale 
No. So I can show you this. All right, so this is Poppy. This is not on, on uh, clearance sale. This is the hooded scarf we made. The so wooly. And even when I was talking to Premier Yarns about this yarn coming out, I was like, um, that looks a lot like the so wooly. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can have it on my authority and their authority that if you like the poppy or the look of the poppy, so wooly is not this bright, this bold. It's more of a solid with specks of color. It looks more along the lines of this, but in the super bulky yarn. So it's kind of like if these two had a baby. Okay, so it's this thickness, but it's this kind of colorway. <clears throat> Highly recommend it. It's a nice, bulky, super bulky yarn. It works up fast. It makes nice things. I made a really big, giant scarf and a hat set out of it when it first came out. Um... I personally prefer the poppy but if you wanted to try something that was like the poppy and you don't like all this busyness you will you will definitely like the so wooly i'm going to show this again because the other yarn that is in here is on sale <laughs> so all right so everyday dk everyday worst is four dollars the candy colors four dollars pixie dust brights i don't know i think i have the chenille brights Pixie Dust is another type of fuzzy, blankety type yarn. Um, it's on the really thin side, if I recall. I haven't had Pixie Dust in here in a long time because I don't use I don't use blanket yarns. I don't use chenille yarns. I don't use velvet yarns very often. I stick with like the basic acrylics. But um, if you like that type of yarn, it makes really cute amigurumis. It makes really cute. And I think I worked with the Pixie Dust a couple of years ago for Premier Week. And I think I made a muff and a hat set for a little girl. If I'm recalling. And it may or may not have glitter. Let me, let me look that up. Pixie Dust. I try to pretend like I know all of Premier Yarns. But <laughs> I'm only one person. Pixie Dust Brights. It is not glittery. But it comes in all these really cute pastel -y, pinky, girly colors. Little kid colors. Not girly, but like little kid. Comes in all those colors. Regularly $4.99 on sale for what I say, $4. Yeah. Alright, now we're moving on to the $3 section. And let me make sure I have everything in the right place. I don't have the ribbon. I don't have that. I don't have that. I don't have that this basics all right i think i have <laughs> the three dollar section i have a lot from the three dollar section um, and again, all of these are a decent price. So the coffee shop that I'm getting ready to show you is normally $3.99. It's on sale for $3. Um, this yarn is beautiful and it's a three weight, but it works up. And I just happened to have a the swatch on it. I think I started to make a sweater out or not a sweater, a scarf out of this. And I think I quit. And I don't remember why. I think it's because it was taking a long time. And I was, I had other things to do. And I think that's why I quit this. But I really need to pick this back up. And I can tell by looking at it that it was just granny stitch. But this yarn is, this is actually my favorite color. I love anything blue jean color. This is my favorite color of the coffee shop. This has a little bit of wool in it. It's 85% acrylic, 15% wool. Unless you are highly allergic to wool, I don't think this yarn's going to bother you because it's, it doesn't feel wooly. I mean, I can see... I can see it bothering someone with super sensitive skin. But it doesn't bother me to work it up. It feels good in my hands. It's just on my face and my neck. It's a little bit... It's a little bit picky. It's not scratchy. It's just a little bit like, oh, I can feel that there's wool in that. So it's minor, but it's a beautiful yarn. And if you are not sensitive to wool... And you can use, well, like this yarn's beautiful. So this is the coffee shop. 
It's a lightweight number three. This is the color True Blue. It's 284 yards. Um, this is a machine wash warm lay flat to dry situation. This is the True Blue color. This is what it looks like worked up. And see how it fades, the color fades really beautifully. This is also another favorite of mine. This is called Sandstone. And it's got grays, but it has like burgundies in there. And it, it's just, it's beautiful. And this is my least favorite because it's brown and green. It's like army. I don't like this colorway. This is Columbia. <laughs> this is more along what I would consider typical masculine colors. Um, and the whole coffee shop line is kind of like that. It's like, I, like I would totally make myself something out of this or this but also like unisex masculine leaning colors definitely this makes beautiful hats this makes beautiful hats for gifts it is a three weight so it takes a little bit longer but for three dollars a ball you might as well stock up because if, if you're doing the math three dollars a ball that's also three for nine that's four for twelve <laughs> and I know some of you some of you be like well three dollars and some of you be like oh but three for nine <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way. I am the same way. If you tell me it's three for something, like three for nine, four for twelve, I'm gonna buy it faster than if you tell me it's just three dollars a ball. I don't know why my brain works that way. But yeah, this is a pretty decent yarn. I've had requests from people to to do a tutorial for the coffee shop yarn to show what can be made with it. Um, this would make a beautiful scarf. And you could pretty much use any any stitch for the coffee shop and make a beautiful scarf you can make a a really nice hat that's not like if you if you live in a really cold environment obviously like a dk weight might not be for a canadian okay for example or like northern michigan or even some people in michigan or any of the northern states where it gets a lot of snow you might this might be your spring or fall hat okay but if you live in like a warmer, like I live in Virginia and it will get below freezing here. But to me, because I'm from Michigan, I'm always hot. The cold doesn't bother me here the way it did in Michigan. So my hats are almost always made out of three weights. At least the ones I wear most frequently is a three weight. And so these make beautiful hats, beautiful gloves. And it's got wool in it. So it's like got all the wool properties. All right. So three dollars can't beat that. Um, I don't have the ribbon yarn. The ribbon yarn is a ribbon yarn. <clears throat> I couldn't tell you anything about it. I've never had it. They also have cotton gold, which looks like a thread that has um, sequins on it that you can mix with other um, yarns to give it a sequined effect. I don't have any of that. The basics don't have basic chenille max i don't have the wool select sock um the eversoft three dollars a ball i love this stuff if you like karen simply soft you will love this this to me is karen simply soft but it does not split nearly as badly as karen simply soft and it comes in variegated and solids now the variegated is significantly less yardage so the solid is 270 yards the variegated is 207 yards. So, I mean, it looks like more of a difference. Don't it look like there's way less? It looks like it's about half the size. They're both a four weight, but really they're a three weight. I'm going to be honest. They're a three weight. <laughs> These work up like a three weight. Um, soft, shiny. It, it's kind of like Premier's version of Karen Simply Soft, but I think this is better than Karen Simply Soft because I don't find this to be as splitty as Karen Simply Soft, but it has some of the same beautiful looks, texture. It's really soft. Like, it's really soft. This is not anti peeling acrylic, but this is easily as soft as the butterfly yarn because it's got that beautiful sheen to it. And like I said, it comes in solids. It comes in variegated. So this one is the color Robin's Egg. And this one is the color Confetti, which maybe it looks small because I've used some. No, because it's not center pulled. I don't know. I love the multi because the multi is like very like, hello, look at me. <laughs> but the Eversoft comes in beautiful colors too. So those are also $3 a ball. 
And then they have so many for $3. Like a lot of their yarns, $3. Then they have the Basics Super Bulky, which is the brown and the red in this. So the Variegated is the Poppy, but the brown and the red is the Basics Super Bulky, which is also a brand new yarn for $3. Cannot beat that. It's really soft. It's really squished. It works up really fast. It's really fat and chunky. Um, and it make and I of course didn't weave in my ends. We're not looking at that. <laughs> it's 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 a good yarn. And I just featured this tutorial recently on the channel. I highly suggest you if you wanted to try this, buy it while it's on sale. But not only do they have the basics super bulky, they have and they're all three dollars. Basics worsted battery so the basics super bulky the basics worsted oh, i didn't grab a mosaic i know that i have a mosaic let me find the mosaic all right so i can't find the basics mosaic but you guys have to see the basics mosaic and i've shown the basics mosaic on the channel too it is like slap you in the face colors okay it kind of what did i do what did i do with it it kind of the color is like this it's like slap you in your face color okay so this is the basic mosaic which is also on sale for the three dollar price tag and it comes in beautiful beautiful highly it, it's busy it's busy the the colors are very busy it's beautiful though like it's very colorful it kind of reminds me the closest thing that I have to the mosaic is like this this is from Hobby Lobby but this is not mosaic this is the closest thing to show you what the mosaic yarn looks like it's very very like colorful marled colorful um yeah and it comes in lots of cool colors i i know that i have some i just don't know where it's at i don't know where i put it it's fine all right so we got the the basically the whole basics line from what i can tell is on sale so the basics super bulky basics worsted worsted the mosaic the chenille brights i actually do have chenille brights Sometimes I scare myself. <laughs> <coughs> this is also on sale, $3 a ball. It's your typical chenille style fuzzball yarn. I have this in a couple of different colors. I also have it in like a turquoise color. This is actually more bold than what is showing up on camera. That's pretty accurate. It's looking a little washed out back here, but like it's beautiful, bright, soft. If you like chenille yarns, you'll like that, especially for three dollars a ball. Um, worsted mosaic chenille brights basics shimmer, another brand new yarn. This comes in Christmas colors or holiday colors, so it comes in the blue, like this. It comes in solid green, solid red. Um, two different. Two different holiday hang on because cinnamon stitches bought some <laughs> unbagging it comes in two different shades of holiday uh red white and green or single de mayo red white and green like we don't judge oh this is pretty this is more of a cranberry instead of oh that's pretty hang on where's my other one Let me think. What did I do with it? Let me think. This is the one we had previously. So, like I said, it comes in solid red, solid green, all sparkly. Okay, solid red, solid green, white. Two different Christmas colors. I am loving this one so much. This one is the Mary, and this one is Poinsettia. 
This one's my favorite. That is gorgeous. So these are on sale $3. Beautiful. And if you celebrate Hanukkah instead, you have blue. Or if you just want to celebrate winter or solstice, whatever. Super, super sparkly. These are brand new. And I'm so glad I ordered this colorway because it's gorgeous. You guys want to see what else is in that bag. I already know. <laughs> That's not on sale. We can't show it. <laughs> so, $3 a ball. If you got Christmas projects you need coming up, stock up. And I usually stock up for the following year, just because that's how we roll. Now the basics, let's touch a little more on the basics. You guys know, if you've been around, I can't use a lot of value acrylics that are on the market because my skin issues. Basics is the one I go to. If I need a basic acrylic of value acrylic, a good priced acrylic, $3, this is 359 yards. It's on the plumper side of a worsted weight. It's not anywhere near a five, like a category five yarn, but it's it's got a nice uh, thickness, a squish to it. So if I'm going to use a basic acrylic in a solid color, I reach for the Premier Basics first. I will order this before I ever go and buy Red Heart Super Saver because I cannot use Red Heart Super Saver. Um, I've tried over and over and over again, and I, my skin does protests. This is a nice soft squish yarn. Um, it's a value acrylic. It's not the softest yarn on the market. And I, I I have no problems using Premier Basics. So like I said, they have the Basics. They have the DK, which is just a DK version of the yarn. And then they also have the Chunky. Let me, let me double check and make sure this is... Basics. Every, this is not Everyday Bulky. So this is not the one that's listed for $3. Let me double check my list. Super bulky worsted. No. This is not. I don't know why I grabbed that. But they also have a everyday worsted, or not worsted, the everyday version of the yarn in a bulky that's also $3. Um, all right, so that is, I gotta put all this stuff back when I'm done. It's gonna be a hot mess. What is on the $2? Now we're down to the $2 one. So the Chow Paca singles. Chow Paca is... Uh, a couple years ago, Premier Yarns came out with a line of yarns that was called Chow something. So it was Chow Baby, and it was like for a limited time. Then the Chow Paca, and it was supposed to be for a limited time, but it's been hanging around a while. And I had some, and it's a decent yarn, but it's alpaca, and I can't use alpaca, so I don't have any because I got rid of it. Um, it's a if you like alpaca, it's a it's a pretty decent yarn, um, and for two dollars for alpaca alpaca yarn, you can't beat that. They have uh, a bunch of yarns. Oh, no, that's not it. DK dots. DK dots. All right, I had to double check because I wasn't sure. I was like, what is DK dots? And then it's the anti pilling dots. <laughs> this is different than the dotty yarn that I showed you in the bigger balls. It's totally different, okay? This one's anti-pilling acrylic. This one is just regular acrylic. Um, either way you go, you can't go wrong. So I said this one was $5 for 656 yards. This is $2 for 273 yards of anti-pilling acrylic. Two, four, six, you have three balls for $6. And what is 273 times three? 273 times 3. 819 yards for $6 of anti-pilling acrylic. Though so you can do the math on that. I hear a truck and I'm hoping nobody's delivering anything to my house today. <laughs> Let me check. Alright. So like I said, $2 a ball. This stuff is really nice. This is not... Um, the pattern like the dotty where it has the fade colors. This is just speckles. And it's just speckles throughout. It comes in really beautiful colors. It's the anti-pilling acrylic so it's super soft. It's like new wash after wash like they say. It's a really good yarn for projects that you want to last a long time. Okay. And at $2, I mean, 
fantastic deal. Um, they also have the, the Premier Medley, which is in limited colors because the Medley has been clearanced out for a long time, but it's another um, anti-pilling acrylic yarn. It is, and I don't have any because we used a whole bunch, but it comes in, like if you wanted to make something in kind of Christmas colors, they have the red is close to this color, but it's a red um, heathered yarn. And they have a green heathered and a navy blue heathered and a gray heathered, I believe. They don't have a lot of colors and it's a heathered yarn, but it is gorgeous. And we have actually featured it on this channel before. So if you look up a Premier Week video where we featured the medley and fingerless gloves, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> It's really nice yarn and it's two dollars a ball. Um, Bamboo Select is also a yarn that we featured on the channel before. It comes in a little cardboard tube and two dollars a ball is a good price but the thing I hate about the and the bamboo is beautiful. It's soft. It's gorgeous. It's a tiny amount of yarn on a cardboard tube and so in order to make anything decent size you have to connect a whole bunch of ends. So while I love the yarn, I don't love the way it has been delivered, but at $2 a ball, I mean, if you want to have some bamboo yarn, get some bamboo yarn. Um, so that was the bamboo select. They also have um, the wool select at $2 a ball. This stuff I think was originally like $6 when it first came out. This is 75% acrylic, 25% wool. It feels really wooly. It feels really wooly. Um, it says easy care wool blend, hand wash, cold, lay flat to dry. How's that easy care? <laughs> but if you like wool, it's two dollars a ball. <laughs> this is not one of my favorites. I got this in a mystery bag, and I think it's a really good deal for two dollars a ball. Uh, this is too wooly for me, and I probably will not be able to use it with my skin issues. Um, but I mean, if you like wool and you like the feel of wool, this is, it's a good deal for $2. I just can't use it. Uh, and then I think that's all I have for the $2. Oh, I have the Everyday Dots in two different colors, and I didn't even tell you the colors. So this one's the color Dreamy, and it's got peach and turquoise and purple. And then this one is the color Meadow, and it's flowery color. So there's pink and purple and green on a creamy base. This is more of a white base. This is more of a cream base. All right. Now, there, like I said, there's way more on... The Basics DK is on the $2 list. Why? Dad. Okay. I showed you the Basics DK. That's $2 a ball, not $3 a ball. I was wrong on that one. I'm looking at a list with a lot of information in it, and my brain is like scrambling everything. So there's like that, like I said, you got to check out the page and look at it. I'm just showing you what I personally have and I have some of that too and I didn't grab it. Might have some in here. So for a dollar a ball. Yes, I do because I know that's what that is. Yep. Alright, see, I have the yarn. I have the world's best yarn stash, I'm telling you. <laughs> there will be times I'll go, I wonder if I have such and such. And I'll come in here, I'll start digging, and I'll find something that I forgot I had or that like is really I needed at that moment. And I will always say out loud, like, I have the world's best yarn stash. It is filled with a lot of different types of things that for different projects, like you know. I just have a really good yarn stash. All right, so Cotton True Sport, Uptown Baby, Bamboo Pop, NG Garden. All right, and I don't know what universe is. I don't have any of that. All right, so what I'm showing you, something is unraveling. 
That means there's a swatch in here. I felt it pull in. Yep. <laughs> we did a swatch on this yarn. When it first went on clearance. All right. What I'm showing you is what I have and that I've purchased. Most of these yarns I got on clearance. I don't know what colors are going to be available in the sale tomorrow. So what I'm showing you may differ from what the colors are actually available. Um, but I pulled out what I had from Stash. So these are your dollar balls. Now, I'm going to tell you the dollar section is probably the best deal value-wise. But if you don't use thin yarns, none of these are going to be of use to you. So we'll just skip over the dollar section. But if you love sport weight, lace weight, um really really thin yarns you're gonna like these yarns if you don't like thin yarns skip the dollar section because that's basically all they have <laughs> okay so for the dollar section they have the cotton true sport which i have here in three colors it is a sport weight yarn i have the tiniest little sample worked up because i was unraveling it as i was pulling this out of the bag and i worked this up in a review this yarn is really nice soft feeling it will make a very light lightweight nice anything um i can see for this like maybe baby dresses um layette type pieces um tank tops for the summertime lightweight t-shirts for the summertime a really nice lightweight shawl scarf all of those things and it comes in beautiful colors from what i i don't know what's going to be on sale because like I said, I'm recording this before the sale actually goes live. So I don't know what's on their website right now. These are a dollar a ball. I paid $2 a ball on these on a deep clearance. So I know that these were probably 4 5 $6 a ball. They are also from the Fibra Natura brand, which means they're part of the Universal section. So Universal is like the mother or sister company of Premier Yarns. They're in the same warehouse. Universal Yarns is more along the lines of the stuff that you see at a local yarn shop. The the little the knitting yarn shops with the fancy expensive yarns. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that these are a dollar ball, good deal. But it's only a good deal if you're work if you like working with sport weight yarns. Um, it's a really nice feeling cotton yarn. It is 100% Pima cotton, 50 gram ball, 197 yards for a dollar. They also have the Garden Metallic Yarns and the Garden Solids for a dollar a ball. This is, um, what do you, Egyptian, it's a 99% Egyptian Giza Mercerized Cotton, 1% Glitter Yarn. It's cotton thread, okay? Uh, this is good for doilies. This is good for lace. If you were going to make like a lace tablecloth or like a lace um, shawl, or you can use anything that you're going to make with lace. You actually make lace with this. My favorite thing to do with this is to make dream catchers or mandalas. Um, that's the only thing I really make with these. I have made doilies. I don't have a use for doilies. I don't have end tables. I don't. I don't want to take the time to make a big giant um, placemat or tablecloth out of really thin yarn like this. But if you do and you like that. A dollar ball is a pretty good deal and it's really pretty it's really sparkly it comes in really pretty colors this one is probably the most um what is, what is the word i'm looking for this is probably the one that is most um commonly used <laughs> most what is the word i'm looking for most commonsensical to have i don't i that's not it at all Anyway, this is the yarn that would make most sense to buy if you work with just basic acrylics. It is still a sport weight. Um, it is Uptown Baby Sport. It is... That is a huge chunk of glue. I have never noticed that before. Alright, so it is 100% anti-pilling acrylic. This does not feel like this. Um... This has a more dry feel to it. Um, it sticks to my fingers a little more. And when I've tried to work with this, 
I got the worst yarn barf in the whole world out of my cake. But I've only tried to work with it once. It doesn't feel rough. It does not feel rough. It feels... It's not as silky smooth as the everyday anti-pilling acrylic. <clears throat> it's not bad. I'm sure that it will make beautiful things. I have a whole box of this. I have it in yellow and turquoise and... I don't know what other color I have it in. It's back there somewhere. I have it in three colors. I want to say pink, but I don't think that's right. I definitely have it in yellow in this color. This is the color turquoise. Um, this is probably the best value. If you like working with sport weight yarns or you need to make something that's sport, this is probably the best value of the, all these yarns. <clears throat> Just because it's a dollar ball, it's 361 yards of 100% anti-peeling acrylic. Um, my favorite, my favorite, favorite of all of the dollar yarns is Bamboo Pop. They only have select colors that are a dollar. I don't know what colors they have for a dollar. I paid, I think, two or three dollars for these colorways last year. <laughs> or at least several months ago. I don't know what colors they're clearancing out. So, I'm showing you the yarn, not the colorways, okay? So this is Bamboo Pop. I love this yarn. It is a number three yarn. It is bamboo and acrylic, I believe. No, it's cotton acrylic, or cotton. It's 50 cotton, 50 bamboo. It is 292 yards. I have made a tank top out of this years ago in a pink colorway. And this feels so nice on your skin. It's a three weight, but it's a thin three weight, and I'm going to say it's actually probably closer to a sport weight. It works up more like a sport weight. Um, this yarn is gorgeous. It makes beautiful wearables. Beautiful. I can see making a, scar a scarf, a shawl, uh, a wrap. I've made a tank top, and it is fantastic. The bamboo and the cotton blend is like really, it feels really good against your skin. The bamboo, for some reason, bamboo stays cold. So the fibers stay nice and cool, even if it's hot outside. Like you'll catch a nice breeze and the, the bamboo will cool off and then it'll touch your skin and it'll be cool to the touch. I really like bamboo. I love bamboo for wearables because I'm hot-blooded, because I like the way it cools off. Like I said, I don't know what colorways are clearanced out. Um... This one is the color Princess or Princessa. And this one is the color Happy Birdie. I almost thought it said Happy Bride because I don't have my glasses on. I'm like, why would they name that a Happy Bride? I don't like that. Happy Birdie. <laughs> so, I, like I said, I don't know what colors, but like this for a dollar a ball is a really good deal. I think it took... I want to say it took five balls to make a size 3X tank top. So if that gives you any idea of how much you would need to make, and you can hold this double. If you want to, if you hold this double, it whack like a worsted weight. Um, buy 10, 10 balls for $10, you make yourself a kilo shirt, okay? Killer deal for a dollar. This stuff at local yarn shops is between $8 and $11. So... Yeah, a dollar, snatch it up. <laughs> snatch it all up. All right, so I think, I have no idea how long this video has been, but I feel like we've been talking for three days. Um, I think I've shown, they also are having 10% off of hooks, needles, and accessories. So I do have an entire um, set of their wooden knitting needles. I don't know if they still sell them, but they're pretty good. The The... Um, the cords have memory, but the needles themselves are fantastic. So I do like their, their, um, their wooden knitting needles. Their crochet hooks are okay. I don't really know what they have. They did have some metal ones that I haven't tried yet. Um, but 10% off, I mean, if you need crochet hooks and stuff, I, I would look at that and see. Some of these deals are fantastic. Some of the deals are way better than others. The $5 section, even though... When I'm looking at a 54321 sale, I'm like, all right, I'm looking at the dollar store stuff first. I'm going for the dollar store stuff, or the dollar store. I'm looking at the dollar stuff first, 
but looking at what is actually on sale for the five dollar stuff i mean yeah i'm gonna snatch up some of the five dollar yarns just because that adds up like i'm saving three dollars a ball that adds up real quick on how much money i'm saving so i'm definitely gonna get some of the some of the bolds so don't buy it all save some for cinema stitches and i won't buy it all either i'll save some for you guys <laughs> but i'm gonna buy some of that for sure because i want to make i would really like to make some like a blanket or something out of that i think it would be really pretty and it would work up fast because it's super bulky um coffee shop is really great the fact that they're putting the new yarns on clip on, on sale this one remember is three dollars this one's five dollars these are brand new these just came out i'm like here for it so definitely go check out the link the link is an affiliate link i i make a small percentage back if you purchase clicking my link i definitely appreciate it. it helps the channel it helps me to continue to do amazing videos like this it helps me to have all these yarns on stash for reviews for telling you guys my opinions on these yarns for telling you like this is a good yarn but like i've had bad experiences with it. <laughs> or the butterfly yarn that i showed you is splitty it's beautiful but it's splitty if you don't like splitty yarn stay away from that you will always get an honest opinion from cinnamon stitches whether it's uh, it could make me money or not that's what makes me that's what makes me so trusted in in the youtube land is because even though I have those links, and if you click and buy, I make a little bit of money back, I will always tell you, like, hey, this is okay, but I like this one better. Or, you know, this is a really good deal, snatch it up. I will always be honest with you guys, because I want to help you guys out. I'm not here for just making money, you know. And I really wanted to share this with you, because I was really excited that, A, Premier Yarns is doing their Black Friday sale all week, okay, I, I'm I'm happy about that, but B, I'm also really excited that Premier Yarns is kind of stepping out of what they normally do, and they're really trying to reach out and help the affiliates to help them, and like we're getting a better relationship because like I'm getting information now that I wasn't getting before, and like it is so helpful to run my channel when I just have information fed to me, you know, so that I can give it to you guys. It's so helpful, and so thank you to Premier Yarns for. For really stepping up your affiliate game and for helping us out a little bit um yeah and thanks to all of you for watching this video whether you buy yarn or not it's fun to play with you my yarn and go through my stash and see what i had and talk about some of the yarns and what i liked and what i didn't and um i will see you guys monday so i can show you all the beautiful things i've been making bye guys